uh, in order to create a mask, first you want to make sure to select the layer that you want to mask. And it could be text, it could be shape, it could be a video, it could be a photograph, it could be whatever media that you uh, like to use. Once you click it, you make sure it's highlighted, you're gonna, you can choose any of these rectangular tools or elliptic or poly polygon or star to create your mask. I'm just going to use the first one, which is the rectangular tool, and I'm going to drag it right outside of the text. And as soon as you do that, basically it creates the box, and what is inside the mask is visible to the viewer. What's behind the mask is hidden. Okay? So now, in order for me to animate this over time, I would need to click on the mask drop down. And, uh, and you have a whole bunch of options here, which I'm not going to really get into. But the two that I want to uh, show you is how you want to expand your mask and how you want to feather it to soften the edges. Right now, I'm not going to feather anything. I'll just expand it so that you'll see. Um, and then we'll add the feathering later. So I created my keyframes for expansion and also feather, which I'll add later. I'm going to go to a different place in time, and I'm just going to click on my mask expansion to show, to reveal my mask. And if I come back here, and basically if I just go back, let's say somewhere around in the middle, and I say, you know what, add some feather to this, you see that it just makes the whole re revealing of the mask much more smoother. Okay, so that's, let me stop this.